Okay, here we go. The oscilloscope hooked up the J100A connector, which is this RCA jack right here. That's your 4 megahertz oscillator, either from the crystal selector or the manual selector, depending on the position of this switch. So, in crystal, there's your waveform. In manual, look at that nice sine wave. Beautiful. Back to manual. Something not quite right here. Only 340 millivolts peak to peak. Manual. Almost exactly 3 volts peak to peak. We have a problem, Houston. And here we are back. You've got your board, and this is a good working spare. The connector's different. That's the only difference between the boards is this one has the, the round pins because this is a hand-wired, and this one was out of a, the later uh, versions made in Mexico that use circuit boards. So other than that, all the components are exactly the same. More importantly, the component layout and how they're installed is exactly the same. Notice this good board over here. See these two, tra actually they're not transistors, they're, well they're transistors, but they're MOSFETs. See this one, flat side facing that direction. More importantly, this one right here. See the flat side facing this RCA jack. Go over here to this circuit board. Flat side facing away. Flat side facing away. Correct. Flat side facing away. Hmm. RCA jack, flat side facing away. RCA jack, flat side facing the RCA jack. Someone has replaced, well not, a, not only this one, they replaced this one and this one. And I know there are replacements. The one that's installed incorrectly has absolutely no markings on it at all. I don't even know if I can get down in there with the camera. And this one over here, eh, the old headlight turned on here. Let me shine some light on the subject. Now you can just see that one. It's got a W at the top of it. That one's a workman. And this one, the other one, has absolutely no markings whatsoever. So, what that MOSFET does is that's your oscillator, your 4 megahertz oscillator, when you're in crystal control. When it's in uh, manual tuning, the 4 megahertz signal comes in this jack and it's a the oscillator is a vacuum tube but when you're in crystal control this is the oscillator that's why I can't get even receive between the uh, volume between uh, your manual and receive circuits because this is installed backwards it's working obviously it makes a really crappy small waveform because it's not doing what it's supposed to do not only I mean the voltage going through the crystals it's oscillating the problem is it's not amplifying the signal at all um, as you can see, it's actually kind of distorting it. So here's, I'm just going to go ahead. Somebody, like I say, at some point in time, I mean, Workman hasn't made transistors for Christ a few decades, I don't think. So, um, I'm just going to go, I'm like, I'm going to change this, but I'm just going to go ahead and replace this one while we're in here. Cause I, I know both of them have been changed. Um, yeah, I'm always leery of off brand rebranded transistors from Workman because I've had problems with some of those older ones over the years so here's a new pair down here good uh, well-known you know, pair 2N 5484s getting ready to go in so I'll get them installed and we'll see if that fixes her up okay back with the hand wire tram D201 hooked up to the signal generator channel 19 27 185 10 microvolts input to the radio. Manual or crystal. Manual. Crystal. Manual. Even input. We've got that fixed. Now for the next problem. Squelch. See the needle move? Actually, better yet. Volume affecting S meter reading. Next problem.